Welcome Pisces and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always time stamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid. This could resonate for you as a past, as a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. Alright, let's get started here. Your energy your person's energy what is between you and this person the obstacle or challenge their thoughts towards you their feelings their intentions and what actions can you expect from this person under the deck here is the magician this is Gemini Virgo energy we also have the fool this is Aries with the six of cups and the Empress Libra Taurus um, other signs that I'm seeing, I'm seeing uh, Sagittarius energy. It could be any sign that you're dealing with, but those are the most prominently coming through. Um, as I'm going to put the deck away, this card just slipped itself out, which is the Justice card, Libra energy. For some of you, there could be some type of legal situation that you're really focused on right now, or just some, some kind of fairness or balance in a situation. Some of you are trying to manifest reconciliation with someone. You can feel like this person's distant from you, Eight of Cups, like looking back into the past, missing someone, feeling like you had to walk away or they walked away, and just kind of waiting to see what will happen. Will this person make things right? Will they come towards you? Will they do right by you this time around? All right, let's grab another deck here. I want to get a little bit more information as to what's going on in regards to this connection. What is the energy here, please, for the collective Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? All right. Adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. And honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Alright, so I feel like someone's kind of keeping themselves stuck in like a specific way of being or thinking or situation because they're afraid of changes and there really needs to be this really honest and direct conversation between you and this person. Now for some of you, you and this person may not currently be together. With the Eight of Cups, again, it can feel like, you know, one or both of you had to walk away from this connection and there's still a lot of love, a lot of feelings. It feels like unfinished business, so much left unsaid, things that are not resolved. Your person is waiting. Now for some of you, I know you don't want to hear this, okay, but take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Don't shoot the messenger. I feel like this person is waiting to hear from you, Pisces. And you're like, mystic, no, I've listen, I've tried to reach out to them. If they want to talk to me, they need to be the one that reaches out. I tried in the past. I'm not in disagreements. I'm just saying this person has been kind of waiting to kind of see, you know, would you potentially reach out to them, you know, or should they reach out to you? They're waiting to hear from you. Okay. And I feel like if you don't reach out to them, they will eventually take matters into their own hands, but that's what they've been waiting for. Um, either contact from you or some kind of news or message that they receive about you like some kind of confirmation that you do want to hear from them. There's a lot of hurt in the past here. Now between you and this person, Nine of Cups, there's this very like lighthearted, playful, sweet, innocent type of energy here between you and this person. Nine of Cups is about wish fulfillment, checking all the boxes. You see so much happiness and abundance with this person. They are exactly what you want, what you dream about and vice versa. But the issue with the Ace of Pentacles could be a couple things. Either this person wasn't wanting to get serious in the past. For some of you, it definitely feels like maybe there was some type of missed opportunity when it comes to another person expressing their interest and taking things to the next level. Like maybe you felt like you constantly waited for this person to like, you know, break the ice or ask you out or try to make things official or express how they felt or whatever it pertained to be 
you feel like this person could have did more, said more. Uh, for others of you, it could have been that this person went off to pursue something with someone else or pursue something else. Maybe they traveled to accept some new job. Maybe they're starting up their own business, okay? Uh, for some of them, there could have been like um, a marriage or commitment or new relationship, birth of a child, that type of thing. When this person thinks about you, we see temperance. This person wants to heal this connection with you. They want to mend it. I'm starting to get like really shaky, you guys. Um, but they're nervous. They're nervous as to how you are going to react to them. They want to show you how much they've healed and how much they've been working on themselves because maybe in the past they really did struggle to be open and vulnerable and honest in regards to their feelings. But now they're kind of learning that sometimes these challenges, even if they're inconvenient, there's so much room for growth. But I have to challenge myself. I can't run from the challenges. I have to confront them head on. The only way out is through. They are missing you. Five of Pentacles, feeling lost, disappointed. I could have had it all with you. There was so much potential, but now they feel shut out of your life. They don't know what's going on with you. There may be a lot of things that they want to share with you in regards to their circumstances, their situation. But their intentions, well, with Three of Cups, this can be about reconciliation coming together even if just as friends this person wants to reconnect with you some of you they may want to like ha ask you out to dinner or like a social setting because they still want to mend this but they need to know for certain that you still feel the same despite everything they need to see you to spend time with you to interact with you to catch up on old times some of you could just be a few months, some of you could be several years, but it feels like a significant amount of time has passed here. This person is very much afraid of putting themselves out there and being rejected, but they know they don't have a choice. If they want to mend this with you or even see if that potential is still there, they're going to have to extend an invitation. They may want to tell you if they have rejected something or someone else in order to pursue the situation with you because they recognize there's no room for them to grow. Like if I'm just gonna keep myself stuck in a situation where I'm not happy, you know, there, there's not gonna be any change. Writing their wrongs, you know, kind of going back in time to kind of set things straight as it should be. Finding some kind of balance. I made a bad choice in the past. Manifesting an opportunity for a new beginning, a reconciliation. There's so much potential for success and abundance and growth. For some of you, this could be someone who is at a distance from you with the world. And then with this Four of Wands, 11-11, Twin Flame Soulmate Energy, some of you might view this as like a really intense spiritual connection. You'll be hearing from someone. that they could be at a distance from you physically. Maybe they moved or there's distance here, but there should be a, a communication online, an invitation to begin to explore this situation again to catch up this is what I've been up to this is what's been going on with me what about you how are you feeling about things this announcement comes at an unexpected time but this person is feeling like I have to create this opportunity or I may live with re constant regrets I should have would have could have you know if I could just go back in time how different could things be righting my wrongs Now, except for some of you, there could be a legal situation here. You guys know I don't answer legal or medical questions. But for some of you, it could be that maybe they are um, going through some kind of process and now they're in some way free from some kind of restriction to pursue something with you. They want to tell you about this. Some of them could have some concerns when it comes to money. But they're just happy to be around you, to be connecting with you.
opening new doors, abundance. Some of you, this person wants, they see a future, they see marriage, commitment, building a life together, but they need to start by opening their heart to you. That's their plan. But they want to do this in like, a, they don't want to do this through like a text message. They don't want to be like, hit you up on Facebook and be like, hey, I know I have, we haven't seen each other in, you know, a year and a half, but I'm in love with you and I want to be with you. They, they don't want to do it that way. It's like, could we maybe talk, maybe over dinner, maybe as just as friends, you know, and they want to begin to reveal all this to you. They don't want to just lay it out there in a generic message or something. They want this to feel more personal because they know there's potential that they could be rejected, but they want to give this the best potential chance or shot. I mean, it's ultimately going to be up to you, but there's so much this person. They want to offer you something. They want to set things right. They've waited and waited for you. So that's what I have for y'all. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you're interested in booking a private reading with me, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box below. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.